Hey everyone, it's Jessica Jimeno, and somebody asked me, a viewer, to do a video on tips for exercising if you have pain, chronic pain. And so I took down some tips, here are nine of them. The first thing is to look for exercises with the words low impact. So the other day I did a bar workout I found online for pregnant women. And I'm not pregnant, I don't plan on being pregnant and never have been. Before I got sick, I used to do yoga and I can't do it anymore. So one of the, I, I, I Googled work exercise for sick people and I found Pilates. And that's been an unexpected blessing in my life. I hate many of the ways myasthenia gravis has changed my life, especially chronic pain, but if I never got sick, I don't think I would have discovered Pilates and I actually enjoy it more than I ever enjoyed yoga. So the second piece of advice I have is wear your clothes to bed the night before. So if you have chronic pain, you probably have fatigue problems and everything we do takes energy. So even just getting dressed, putting on the right workout clothes, that can take energy. So one thing I do is I wear uh, my uh, the yoga pants, uh, whatever it is, the sports bra I'm gonna wear the night before when I go to bed. So that's one less thing to do. And you know, this is a tip I learned long before I had 24 seven physical pain. And that was a tip I learned for living with bipolar disorder is if you're struggling with depression, it helps to wear your workout clothes the night before you go to bed. And the other thing, the third tip is to break it up. So let's say there's a workout routine you wanna do and it's 30 minutes long. You don't have to do all 30 minutes. You could break it up into three 10 minute routines and then do that throughout the day. Or you could do two 15 minute, uh, break it up into two 15 minute routines. Or you could just do 15 minutes if you can't, or 10 minutes, maybe you can't do the whole thing. The fourth thing is find something fun. So this is even true for able-bodied people and people without chronic pain. And that's, if you find something you enjoy, you're more likely to stick to it, especially this with exercise, this is very common. So find something you enjoy. And number five, add variety. So most people have a hard time sticking to exercise if it's doing the same thing every day. Now. I can do it. There are times in my life where I could just do the same thing every day. And then there are times when you get bored, even when you enjoy something. So I have playlists on YouTube with different exercises. And number six is monitor how your body is doing during the exercise and after. So for example, one thing I recently tried was cardio kickboxing and I enjoyed it. And then what I realized over time was that it was, I wasn't recovering in the days and the weeks. Like it was paradoxically, it was fun at the mo in the moment, but then it was making me weaker. It was like, um, my body, it was just over ambitious. My body couldn't handle it. And it wasn't good for the chronic pain. And it was making my fatigue worse, even though I was enjoying it in the moment. So pay attention to your body. The seventh tip I have is modify. So if the instructor in the video is using eight pound weights and you can't use the eight pound weights, so be it. You could use five pound weights. Maybe the instructor is using five pound weights and you can't do that. You could use two pounds or three pound weights, or you could use water bottles instead of weights, or you could try using nothing at all and following the other parts of the routine. So be creative and modify the routine uh, sometimes they have a person in the background who is doing the modified version of the exercise routine. And one thing I do, so a lot of times workout instructors, right, they, they, they try to be motivational and they say things like, no excuses. If I like the workout, I just ignore those comments because, you know, they, they may have no idea what it's like to be disabled. So that doesn't help. I don't take it, I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm ignoring that, bye. But I'm doing the routine because I enjoy it. So modify. Number eight is give yourself grace. So it's, it feels good to cross something off the to-do list, 
the uh, but if you can't do it you can't do it so let's be kind to ourselves don't be too hard on yourself don't be too rigid the other day i wanted to exercise and the whole day passed and my body just couldn't do it so then i wrote over in my planner where i wrote exercise i put a sticker and and it said it said tried my best we'll get them tomorrow something like that or tried my so i gave myself a sticker and i tried my best and you know that's all i could do so try your best and don't be too hard on yourself and then the ninth tip i should say they always say this is the beginning of workout videos is ask your doctor if this is right for you unfortunately in my experience every time i've discussed exercise with my doctors they didn't understand what i was talking about they were like what richard simmons how they didn't know who richard simmons was or they didn't know what pilates was so uh you know if your doctor is able to discuss that with you that's great i haven't had that experience so these are just some of the the tips i could think of off the top of my head for exercising with pain let me know what you've discovered that works for you what gets in the way of exercise i also have a video i'm going to post in the description box below about how to exercise when you are depressed so these were my tips. If you have pain, pain flare-ups, find something that says low impact, those words low impact, wear your workout clothes to bed the night before, or wear pajamas that you can also use to exercise in. Number three, break it up into smaller segments. Four, find something you think is fun. Fifth, add variety. Six, monitor your body during and after. Seventh, find modifications. Eight, give yourself grace. Nine, ask your doctor. Oh, and I just thought of something else. Number 10. Um, okay, two more things, actually. I thought of two more. Number 10, add music. Music always makes it go by faster. Sometimes I replace the music. I put the video on mute and then I play my own music. And I use like a spot, a playlist I created on Spotify. Number 11, also find an entertaining distraction. So like, uh, sometimes, you know, it's just not fun to do, to be diligent. And, and one thing I did was like, I played some Chris, like uh, there was a new Chris Rock routine that came out on Netflix. So I played that while I was exercising to get me, you know, to get me through that, the distractions helped. So yeah, music helps something funny or entertaining to distract you. Those are my 11 tips for exercising if you have pain or chronic pain. Thank you so much for listening. If you liked this video and found it useful, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, or hit, no, that's hit the like button. I'm tired, okay, I'm just tired. So yeah, hit the like button below and share the video. Thanks so much, bye.